Justicia is a sort of a psychological thriller where the story follow an event that played several times, every time from different perspective, which creates a new truth for the audience. It's in essence a piece about the concept of guilt and the notion of justice. So the story follow a crime case when a character Mimikim accused of killing the best friend of her husband. And the trial gone through presentation of possible murder, possible manslaughter and possible self-defense. Objection! And the audience in this piece set in a position of a jury. So re keep receiving different information that could potentially contradict each other. If we could only replay those 10 minutes, my client would not be guilty of murder. What do we trust? Do we trust our eyes, what we see, or do we trust our ears, what we hear? I like the audience to take questions away, only questions, and never answers. <laughs> I think Justicia is the only piece that I aim to follow a one narrative. And although within this one narrative there are very there are few possible stories, there are few possible alternatives to what could have happened, uh, it was I aim at the beginning to follow to follow one storyline. So I think it's very different than the piece I created before and it's quite different than what's been created after. The movement vocabulary is quite rich and quite eclectic and it's extremely physical as in most of my work but it's quite balanced with the amount of text because it's a full script, there are almost 30 pages of script. The first period of development for Justicia was at the National Theatre Studio and I worked with a scriptwriter called Rebecca Lankvich. It was created in 2006 and premiered at the beginning of 2007 Every time we come back to perform it, we find new, new realities and somehow fresher and I feel like it's grow with time. So I'm very excited to bring it back. I'm very excited in my 40s as a mom to come back and perform it again because for me, it's, it, I haven't been performing for a few years now. So I'm very lucky that I have that opportunity to do it. <laughs>